hi everyone in uh, today's video on the topic of ship stability i will teach you guys how to find the kg that is the vertical distance of the ship's keel to the center of gravity of the ship how to find the kg of the ship after a tank is partially emptied all right so let's get straight to the question so the question says there is a ship of 8300 tons displacement which has an original kg of 4.8 meters this ship pumps out half a double bottom tank which is filled with salt water ballast all right so there's a double bottom tank and half of it is emptied it was filled with salt water the tank's dimensions it is rectangular in shape and the tank's dimensions is 9 meters length 12 meters breadth and 2 meters of height the base of the tank is in level with the ship's keel you have to find the new kg solid which means there is no free surface effect here i mean we are not taking that into account and with half of the liquid removed from the tank all right so make sure you read the question again understand the question and before you start solving the question make sure you draw the diagram as i always say helps you in visualizing what is actually going on so if you draw a diagram it will help you to visualize so you draw a ship shape firstly and draw big diagrams because there is no shortage of paper in your exam so draw a big diagram which helps you i've seen students drawing very small diagrams it doesn't help you much all right so and then draw the center line of the vessel the remember the tank is the base of the tank is in line with the keel so that means if this is the keel the base of the tank is in line with the keel all right so this is the this is the tank the height of the tank is of course two meters it is given to you right and uh, the original kg is here let's say g so the original kg from k to g kg is 4.8 meters remember that right now this tank is filled full of water full of salt water now how much salt water is there in this tank let's calculate the weight of the salt water in the tank so let's say weight of salt water ballast in tank how do you calculate that simply the volume of the tank multiplied by the density of the liquid contained in it so what is the volume of the tank 9 meters in length 12 meters in width now remember you don't have to calculate the total weight you can calculate the total weight and then half it or you can calculate the weight of the liquid which is pumped out so here i will calculate the total weight of the liquid and then i can easily calculate the weight of the liquid being pumped out it's up to you so either you calculate the total weight of the liquid so we use full height of the tank multiplied by the density of the salt water so length into breadth into height of the tank multiplied by the salt water the salt water is nothing but the density of the liquid contained in the tank all right so how do you do that so you multiply 9 times 12 times 2 times 1.025 so this is the total weight of the liquid contained in the tank 2 to 1.4 tons now weight of the liquid pumped out weight of the water pumped out will be how much half of it all right because it says it was half it was halved uh, the half of the liquid was removed that is what it says right so weight of the water pumped out will be equal to half of this weight 2 to 1.4 divided by 2 so 2 to 1.4 divided by 2 is 1101.7 tons so either you could have just used 9 by 12 by 1 meter because half of the liquid was pumped out so half of the height was empty multiplied by 1.025 or you can find out the total weight of the salt water ballast in the tank and then half it it's up to you all right so if half of the weight half of the liquid was pumped out let's put some liquid in the tank here so half of the liquid was pumped out so now this much is the water filled in it exactly half right up to 1 meters in height so this is one meters in height one meter height right so that means from here liquid was pumped out this liquid was pumped out all right so now you have to consider it like a weight discharge so if there was a weight here and the weight was dis discharged what was the center of gravity of that weight 
now if i just focus on the tank alone if i just focus on the tank alone i'll draw a bigger tank here so that you guys know what is going on now remember this is the tank right this is the tank now height of the tank is two meters all right now you have pumped out half of the tank that is here this height is one meter and this is filled with water right now the weight of the liquid pumped out consider this to be a cargo that was discharged now if there was a cargo here that was discharged what will be the center of gravity of that cargo so this this is the cargo discharge you can say this is the cargo discharge this space here now if this was the cargo discharge it would be here the center of gravity would be the center of the height so this is one meter this will be one meter as well so the center would be 0 0.5 meters center 0 0.5 meters is the center of gravity of the cargo that was discharged or the water that was pumped out but from the keel from the keel this height here from the keel this height here would be what 1 plus 0 0.5 meters is equal to 1.5 meters all right we have to give the reference of the height of the center of gravity always from the keel because kg is equal to 4.8 that is the vertical height from keel to center of gravity of the ship and similarly the center of gravity of the weight pumped out or the liquid pumped out or the weight discharged will also be given from the keel so from the keel you have to say that it was 1.5 meters that was the vcg or the vertical center of gravity of removed weight all right so what we say is vertical center of gravity of weight removed is equal to 1.5 meters now as soon as you discharge a cargo what happens to the center of gravity it moves away from the cargo discharged so here it was pumped out now here remember the if you want to find out the shift in the center of gravity of the vessel you call it gg1 small w multiplied by d divided by total displacement minus weight of the cargo pumped out or weight of the water pumped out or weight of the cargo discharged now here this one this one is how much is the weight of the cargo discharge is 1 1 10.7 meters what is the displacement of the vessel given to you is 8300 tons again what is the weight of the water pumped out 1 1 10.7 meters now the only thing that you don't know is the d here now what is d d is nothing but the when it is a weight discharged d is nothing but the kg of ship minus vcg of cargo all right that is the resultant movement of the cell center of gravity is a difference in the movement of the center of gravity so kg of the ship was 4.8 meters minus vcg of cargo is 1.5 meters which is equal to 3.3 meters all right so here this becomes 3.3 meters so remember the weight of the cargo discharge sorry the center of the gravity of the cargo we call it small g maybe weight of the center of the gravity of the cargo discharge or the water pumped out and that is subtracted from the total kg of the vessel to note a shift in the movement of the cargo or shift in the movement of the center of gravity of the cargo which has an overall effect on the center of gravity of the vessel so therefore now you put these values in the formula here so gg1 becomes equal to 1110.7 multiplied by 3.3 .3 divided by 8300 minus 110.7 meters all right so gg1 put that in the calculator here 365.31 divided by 8189.3 which is equal to 0 0.045 meters now 0 0.045 meters is gg1 gg1 now what is gg1 gg1 is the shift in the center of gravity of the ship because of the water being pumped out or the weight being removed now as soon as the weight is removed the center of gravity of the vessel will move opposite to the direction from which it was removed so that means the center of the gravity of the ship will move upwards new center of gravity g dash by how much how much is this distance this distance is nothing but gg1 or gg dash whatever you want to call it in this case right so therefore if the center of gravity is moving upwards that means the new kg of the vessel new kg of the vessel will be nothing but the old kg plus 
gg1 because it is moving upwards if it was moving downwards you would have subtracted it so 4.8 plus 0 0.045 which is equal to 4.845 meters so therefore your kg new kg of the vessel is now kg dash or kg1 which is 4.845 meters it has moved upwards because the liquid was pumped out from the bottom of the tank or it was pumped out from below the height of the original center of gravity of the vessel all right if it was pumped out from somewhere here then the g would have shifted downwards because it would have moved away from where the weight was discharged from but it has moved from the bottom of the tank or from the bot or near the keel so therefore center of gravity has moved upwards all right so i hope you understood this video if there is any doubt just let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer it otherwise i'll see you soon with my next video